For the first time, scientists will have eyes in the deep water beneath the center of marine biodiversity. Go down with the pump. Roger, going down. Yes. Well, in, in the first eight meters, seems to be okay. <laughs> All right. I don't even think it's going to be eight meters. The ROV comes to life in unexplored waters, beginning a two-hour journey into the abyss. The uh, umbilical is going up in towards the ship. There's more things happening down there, and as close to a trip to another planet as we're going to have in the next few generations. Because once you start down there, you're a mile, two miles, it is an alien planet. Two thousand feet, all's going according to plan. 9,800 feet, it reaches the bottom withstanding nearly 300 times the pressure at the surface. The team directs the ROV to roam the ocean floor. Ooh, Hello, right there. Oops. Suddenly, the team spots something unusual. It doesn't look like any sea life they've ever seen. Now that looks like a plastic bag or something, and there's I don't know, some, a wrapper. Look at that, you can almost read that. Uh, it all looks plastic. like it could degrade. Well, this seems to be plastic right here. It's a netting of some sort. They've got a positive ID on trash. Lots of it. Garbage from the world above. Twenty-eight hundred meters down, and in a place where practically nobody lives, and there's this big pile of trash looming up in front of us. You hate to go down to, you know, a mile or so in the ocean, coral triangle, and you find. A trash dump. Dead seagrass also accumulates here. It's a clue to why there's so much trash in one place. I suspect that there's a current down here which is sort of collecting that up, maybe over a large area, and bringing it to this part of the seafloor. Same thing could be happening with this trash. But you gotta wonder what kind of an impact this must be having on, on life down here and how much of this kind of thing is happening in other parts of the ocean closer to big population centers. But it goes to show that you're not gonna escape it any place on Earth. The team directs the ROV to search for evidence of life beyond the pile of trash. The seafloor is covered in fine sediment, made up in large part by a rain of organic material from the miles of water above. Dead plankton and even larger animals sink to the bottom. And that makes the deep sea floor a good place to find food. Something appears at the edge of the ROV's lights. They've found a foot long sea cucumber. Then above the sea floor, a glowing shape. So this uh, this jellyfish is coming up. Look, that's an atoll. The red color is really distinctive. They're predators, like other jellyfish. There's sort of a central domed part of the body, and then there's this, a ring of stiff, thick tentacles. They always have one really, really long tentacle that that hangs down. It's not really clear what the function of this is. Is it reproductive? Is it defensive? Who knows? This is one of the reasons we'd like to be able to study these a little more. The pilot captures the jellyfish for a safe ascent to the surface. <laughs> 